Hello, hello, and hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing the war simulator again, but this time with the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. So, the first thing that's going to happen is that um, Poland and Lithuania do a vote to, union, to be a union. This starts the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. The first thing they do. The first thing they do is they unite under democracy, not a kingdom this time. So the first place that they're going to go for is Kaliningrad or Kreklovic, whatever you want to call it. So here we go. It all starts when some Polish Lithuanian soldiers come in and surround it. With most of the most of, most of the Russian forces in Ukraine right now, trying to protect this area, the Donbass region, Mariupol, and the Crimea, there is barely any soldiers in Kaliningrad or Kreklovic, whatever you want to call it. Let me just put Ukrainians. Hmm. We have some Ukrainians with these are Ukrainians. So a little a group of two decides to cross the border and start the invasion after the general's com commands come in and instantly take out two. The battle that comes after is massive with Russian boats coming in from the mainland. But them being intercepted by Finland and Estonia and NATO, only a few make it past, bringing more reinforcements to fight. After quite a fierce battle, most most of the Russians are taken out in a swift instant. Like this. After that, the uh, the Polish Lithuanians and the Russians go uh, do an agreement uh, um, to to um, say that the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth can have Kaliningrad. This being a major port, and um, and the fact that they're allies with such European empires as the British and the French and the Spanish, this helps them a lot. Next place that they put their sights on is is Belarus. Belarusians can be dark, can be like very dark green. And so it actually starts with the Belarusians, uh, the white Russians coming in because they are afraid of this um, this empire. Uh, forming out of nowhere, storming Poland with quite a massive um, resistance. Why do I have stutters every every single five seconds? Not my problem right now. Quickly, Polish forces and Lithuanian forces surround.
killing quite a few people. Only a few Belarusians rem remaining. They ask Belarus if they want a peace deal, and they say no. So, in response, um, the Polish decide to invade. And it's, it's a massacre. Fires everywhere. After the refusal on joining Lithuanian, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, they force the country into the Commonwealth. This weakens relations with France because, well, the, the Polish people have done quite, the Polish Lithuanians have done something quite bad. And. So, this is what happens next. The Polish Lithuanians um, coming in, with the Polish Lithuanians coming in, Russians are quite scared because the Polish are quite similar to the Ukrainians. Because, and tensions have been rising with the Polish because of, well, Kaliningrad, so they take a few forces out of Ukraine, which will be a bad idea, and send them to the former Belarus. As a defence, this is what the that's what the Russians describe it as. Now, because the Polish Lithuanians um, have taken over Belarus, Ukraine can move their forces to focus on the Donbass region and recapturing Mariupol and Kharkiv. And, uh, and as the the height. As um, the Russians ca uh, come in, as the Russians uh, bring in more weapons through this threat, Polish Lithuanians take a chance. They ask Ukraine to unite under as them being an autonomous region. So technically, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth is not the Polish Lithuanian Ukrainian Commonwealth. But this new Eastern European superpower has been formed after the Ukrainians decide to join. And it's all hell. With the, with the Ukrainians officially becoming part of the Commonwealth. Poland becomes well, massive, becoming by far the second biggest country in Europe. Sorry about that. Anyways, and then a massive battle in uh, occurs. A Polish Lithuanian force strikes through the Crimean um, River border and starts the siege of Crimea. Going through this narrow, narrow strip, hundreds of of Polish people and Ukrainians risk their lives in the front line. Massive battle.
with massive, massive losses on each side. But eventually, it's over. They make a successful push, and the Ukrainian, the Ukrainians are in. With them being behind enemy lines, it takes quite a long time to get resources in until they do another push. And from here, they're going to they kind of starve the Russians out of Crimea and Donbass. The Polish Lithuanians are for a deal, as the capital being in Warsaw, both the Russian leader and uh, and Polish Lithuanian uh, Polish Lithuanian Ukrainian Commonwealth comes in and decides a peace deal. The only thing that uh, Russia has to do is they have to be allies with the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth and and starting a new Eastern European um, alliance. Within the this alliance is that it's going to um to a like a sage green uh, for alliance. The uh, the countries in it are Moldova, R- um, Romania, Polish Lithuania, Russia, Latvia, and Estonia. So now with now with all um soldiers can be successfully evacuated in the south in the Ukrainian region because there's no threats to peace in this area. Oops. Recently made a things river, whatever. Thingamabob. Anyways. Sorry about this, it just takes a long time. The, um, the Eastern European Alliance starts a conquest of Czechoslovakia. I can always make it properly Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Czechoslovakia and Hungary and Hungary. Because we're getting into Balkan territory, this will soon get quite messy. So it starts here. Um Romanian Romanians come in into into Hungarian into Hungary without basically any um, unwelcomings until three soldiers realize this and come in. Because the Hungarians are having quite a lot of tension with Serbia, most of the army is focused on the Serbian border. So. Even though Hungary is quite a small country, they can't get to it. And because of... Um, this whole, the whole reason this started is because of the territorial dispute in Transylvania. It all begins quite catastrophic. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Hungary is taken out in a few seconds. With them having to not be annexed yet, but surrender. 
making Czechoslovakia all on their own. They surprisingly have quite a lot of, uh, they've prepared quite a lot for this. So with the with their with their small army, they create quite a lot of good tactics, basically becoming the Eastern European uh, Alliance's version of Vietnam. They make targets and missile strikes. Um, in in the southern Poland here here and even in Warsaw this breaks all this the capital with the capital of the European Union is in Shusano creating the Polish Lithuanians weak they storm in with guerrilla tactics everywhere until the Polish Lithuanians finally break. Well, not just yet. That will happen later. Why do I just say what I shouldn't have said? Anyways. Come in and. They finally get enough. The Russians supplied um, Eastern European Union uh, missiles get called in and they destroy Prague. Where's Prague? Here. With a, a small nuclear weapon. The Czechoslovakians don't have any al allies at this time. So there's no hope for them. This sours alliances with Germany, even Germany making a anti-Polish sentiment because of the weird ideals. So with Prague being destroyed, that makes it so there will be a division. So let's go. Music, not brush. So this is how it's divided. So, Romania will get most of Hungary from here and quite a lot of Czechia, oh no, Slovakia, sorry, from there. Making a very long Romania. Moving the Eastern European Union's capital to now Budapest. Oops, wrong colour. Well, Eastern European Alliance. Uh, have I been saying that for long? Well, no. So moving it to Budapest, the Romanians now have quite a, a bigger show on what happens and what doesn't happen. Now with added gains for the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, a, a problem emerges. Moldova wants to leave, but um, but Romania and 
the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth aside. Maybe not. So, they quickly and easily just divide. They just divide, they just divide it up for themselves because they want to flee, so we'll make them become one of us. Oh no, oops, oops, oops. With most of Mold with Moldova being um divided What happens is that the Balkans make a union. Uh, the uh, make a union. Surprisingly, they create another Yugoslavia. It's a combat. The Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. This time, it's not common. It's a Yugoslavia. It's the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. With full Kosovo and autonomy this time. The only country that disagrees with this request is North Macedonia. They want to stay independent and be what they want because they sense the problem. The Romanians feel like doing their own unions themselves, so they make a Bulgarian and Romanian union. This seems like they should be because, well, yeah. Well, it's, it's, this is Romania Bulgaria. Now, what happens is. Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth has enough and basically just goes in to Austria and just takes it like Germany did. They just come in, take it. No resistance, just you come in and say, Can we just have you? And the end is captured quite quickly. So they agree, they basically have no choice. With, um, with the Eastern European Union finally rebuilding, um, Prague and it being denuclearified, um, Slovenia finally decides to join because if you didn't realise they didn't actually join Yugoslavia. They joined which was a massive boost for the Yugoslavia's economy. And tensions start to rise with Italy, Polish Lithuanian Ukrainian Commonwealth and Yugoslavia. And Romania wants to get on on in this too because of well, Serbia. So a build up of of armies starts a, a build up of armies of the Eastern European Alliance starts here until a surprising move made by the Yugoslavians, because they didn't declare war yet, is that, uh, that's, 
there. That's not a good thing. There we go. So the Yugoslavians just go and take they go and take Budapest with quite a heavy loss, but surprisingly take it with such ease. Coming in and just stealing Hungary. It's them taking, well, forcefully taking be the pass that, that they capture the east the um the russian president this is not good for yugoslavia from oh, this they take their prime minister which is Boris Yeltsin, yes I know, Boris Yeltsin, um, vi Vice President of the Russian Federation decides to build up way more troops on the border. Oh wait, I'm so dumb. With them practically seizing um, Hungary, what the Polish decide to do is they do a pyramid to to get to Belgrade, and they don't get to Belgrade, but they successfully transport themselves to Sarajevo and capture that. Whoa, sorry. Missile firing from tactical tactical missiles and even some older World War Two um, German missiles. Yes, you can got to do with what you got got to do. Prague was nearly properly destroyed again. And Vienna takes a heavy loss too. Without reason realizing it, they've just they've just started the war with a massive single front. And because of this how do I put this? Yugoslavia is basically screwed. They brought a one way gate for multiple Eastern European Alliance uh, soldiers to come into Belgrade. Basically, I'm invited in. And after this, they start retreating. They take planes over to Albania. I forgot what the capital was called. <laughs> oh my god. I want to call it Sofia, but that's Bulgaria. With multiple soldiers leaving in, they start a. Well. Try to find the tools. <laughs> They start fortifications on Albania. With Albania basically being uh, no man's land for the Eastern European Alliance. 
the Eastern European Alliance decides to have a treaty. Mostly Yugoslavia will be divided apart from Albania and Kosovo, which is called Kosovo Greater Albania. With the Hungarian troops captured, there's, there's basically no hope for remaining Yugoslavian forces. With the mountain countries in Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe uh, going down by day, year by year, not day by day. Should I just rename this to "What if the Eastern European Alliance started?" Actually, I'll just keep it as part of Lithuanian Commonwealth. So. Borders are going to be re-established. So here are going to be the new borders. Until one massive plane factor starts, Polish Lithuania forms the Eastern European Alliance. Well, oh, actually, no. Crap. I went off my... I went off my script. It's fine. Um, the script is that Romania left. Romania left! Let's, okay, forget everything that just happened. Sorry about my bad writing. Romania leaves the Eastern European Alliance. And then becoming becoming Romanians again, and not Eastern Europeans. They are quite a formidable foe. But um, the Ukrainian Polish Lithuanian alliance cannot stand this. They left the alliance that Romania was the head of. Making Budapest the de facto capital of. Eastern of the whole of Eastern Europe, they mess up real bad. Knowing that this would cause quite a lot of tension with the rest of the world, the Romanians decide to capture the Russian president as well. They just recapture him. This will be being framed in Al of Albania until one sneaky guy um, goes in and f um, snitches, which starts a massive war. The Eastern European, uh, the Eastern European War of uh, twenty twenty. Knowing that the conflict would probably eventually happen, the Romanians are prepared. We storm in to Polish, Lithuanian, and Ukrainian Commonwealth by taking the rest of our. Um, 
of former Transnistria with uh, quite a lot of speed and tactics. A squad makes a fortification on uh, the mountains of the of previous uh, previously Transnistria, putting planes above flying, until until some uh, soldiers stationed nearby the mountain realise that there's an invasion. He knew that the conflict had already started, but he didn't know this, so multiple multiple uh, forces are brought in to defend the rightfully Ukrainian people. Rediverting their Yugoslavian troops to uh, to fight against Romania. The planes fly in and start doing bombing raids on Romania. Not good. Not, not good. Making a force, making a hole in the front, they start a campaign on trying to fight through the area here with a lot of casualties in the Moldovan uh, the battle for, Mo for, the, for Moldova. Great Moldova is finally secured with only a few soldiers fighting. Um, a few soldiers remaining uh, remaining in the great in greater Moldova. Soldiers moving in to get past the mount the Balkan mountains to fight for for the massive Eastern European Empire. A breakthrough is made in technology. They use the previously uh, made European Union sound weapon. They use this against a massive troop in in southern what is this? Um, southern southwest Ukraine basically forcing them into surrender in this area. With this being an unconditional surrender, the Romanians think they're winning until it all, it all goes bad. We saw it saw the spearhead fight at going towards a Bucharest, with the Romanian soldiers having to dip back down into Greater Romania, into Central Romania going through the Transylvanian mountains to uh, nearly no avail. They finally get through making a small force for the greater and the larger the larger um, Eastern European attack. Oh, it's just Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth at this point. So really major factions that are part of the Eastern European Union apart from big big Eastern big Polish Lithuanian Ukrainian Commonwealth. Big boy. Look at this. I just realise how big this is. With a faction bigger than they anticipate is the Eastern European Union coming and 
well, just try and wreck the place with multiple bombing, with multiple bombing campaigns that go very smoothly, surprisingly smoothly. Only a few casualties apart from one massive uh, plane that there ain't no many planes that got blown up by a air raid taking out taking out good um big areas the taking out taking out major part targets to missile strikes like like Budapest and and smoke and maybe even a few strikes on Sofia. There's basically no hope for the Romanians. The sound weapon work well. Good enough. So they asked for some peace. Well, some peace? What is some peace? Surrender, you dumbo. It's surrender. Anyways. They also surrender and they gladly and weirdly accept. Surprisingly, the Polish Ukrainian, Ukrainian Commonwealth didn't think that um, they were winning because, well, of the massive casualties, but really, they were fighting an army way bigger than they thought. Annexing the whole of the Romanian Empire. It's basically, there's a new power in town. Oh, come on. This always happens, always. So basically, this is the borders for now. I've been recording for so long, haven't I? Wow, look at this empire. You can still see the borders from the the attempts at uh, in the the Eastern European War. Let me just rub out all the previous Romanian soldiers, sorry. I know it takes you a long time and you're probably not even watching now because you guys, you always just watch till one minute and say, yeah, no. And surprisingly, the video does very well. So, even if you're still watching, surprisingly, after, I don't know, half an hour of your recording, can you please just, like, watch the videos because I get a lot of views but unless it's short form content it's not very well received anyways this is the whole thing wait let me try if I let me see if I can do something right. oh wow oh that's so weird uh active uh, cool Oh yeah, that looks honestly incredibly insane. But he is he is the basically the whole of Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth borders are made from this. This these are the borders. If you know what I mean. So yeah. Massive, isn't it? 
And you may be thinking, why did the Russians decide to invade, but, well, they were weakened quite quickly. So, they had no chance, and made the right move. Returning the Russian president to Russia, all, all previous alliances were reformed, even the German one. Going insane. This, uh, this is, oh my god, this is a massive country. Just think on this on the map, it's massive. Bigger, like, than Kazakhstan, maybe. Look at all this. Oh yeah, Yugoslavia still exists. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, I'll probably leave this video off for now, and goodbye.